presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market. Either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to believe to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you're gonna enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 121. Nasdaq's up 35, S&P's down three and a half. Gold contract trading up $11.10 at 1759 an ounce. We got silver up eight cents, nineteen dollars six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up three dollars twenty three cents, ninety three dollars sixty two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten year note right now trading uh, down two ticks at a price point of one seventeen twenty one. The thirty year off twelve at one thirty seven seventeen. Ten year right now, folks, uh, three point zero four percent. So uh, it's right in the middle for the last three months. You know, we had a low of two point five. Middle where we are now is 3.04, highs 3.4. King dollar. King dollar's a number out here once again. King dollar's down 448 ticks, 108,596. Euro's at 99 to 1 US dollar. Yen is out here at 135 to 136 to 1 US dollar. And the British pound is at 118 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, as I said in this update, this is going to be a real tricky one. This is why. So you take a look at it, right? The, the, the first leg, you know, bottom line wants to fill this gap. So he filled the gap. The gap on the SPY, 412.75, okay? Bottom line, you're at 413.20. Um, that being said, bottom line is that you came down hard yesterday, 77 million shares. Now, we did get to a lower low today because we went to 411.77 and you have volume contracting. So you can, you can look at that and say, okay, man, you know, you're coming into some heavy um, support, you know, because we had traded there seven days across. That would be the bullish position. The bearish position would be, oh, man, he's setting up an ABC down. And when you do, the numbers are setting this ABC down, you come right to, which would be the 50% retracement of the whole move higher. And, you know, markets just love to go back to breakout areas. And that, this is where we really start breaking topside. That's on your S&P. We take a look at the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX 100? Same type of setup. Inside the NDX, what do you have with the NDX? Actually, this is going to get interesting. This is where this close is going to come in. See, the, okay, so yesterday the Qs, Qs get down to 313.53. 51 million shares traded, right? We got to, to one second, 313.53. Yes, yeah, so the low is yesterday. 313.33 is the low today. Now, that's showing that there's no more sellers there. That being said, you know, this is like, oh man, that could be a nice little ABC structure down. So, I'll give you my take right at the close because this is going to get that wild, folks. Because I'm going to try to figure out which way I'm going to go here. <laughs> it's it's that crazy, and this doesn't happen a lot. Let me tell you something; it just doesn't. 
you know, most of the time, doesn't mean I'm right. I'm telling, I'm saying I have an opinion and you just go with it when I'm trading. This one here is really a, a trippy one because it's like, okay, am I going to flip positions here? What am I going to do? And I'm going to do it before the close because it's like, you know, we know how this goes. You wake up in the morning, one way or the other, you're up or down, you know, a couple hundred NDX points. So, and it's contingent on this U.S. dollar. And so the dollar is trying to claw its way back right now. Gold. Gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract right now? Bottom line, you are up 11 bucks. You get 137,000 contracts. It's not bad. It's not great. It's better than going down. That's the bottom line. You know, bottom line, we did 134,000 yesterday. Now that 134 was going into 193. You know, so we'll see whether we can get follow through. And the way this is, this is encouraging. This is actually encouraging. And that when I say encouraging, folks, I'm not talking about just for the whole gold market because when you look at the market, so this is what's so cool. So uh, I've done the gold report now like 21 years or something. And I think it's 22 years actually. But anyway, what happens is that the way, particularly these markets are moving right now because of the interest rate structure, to me, Gold, dollar, interest rates, and I like, you know, NDX 100 or the S and the S&P. If you can kind of coordinate those and whatever your opinion is that they're going in harmony with each other, your probability of being right goes dramatically higher. That's, so that's kind of what you're hearing off me out here. Um, you know, and bonds. We go over the bonds, so check this out. We take a look at the bond market. What you have here is that... The sign of strength, it was buy it this morning, but I believe what just happened is that it rejected that sign of strength. So the sign of strength is right here on the 10. That's 117.14. Yeah, see, oh, this is sick. So it went exactly to 117.14, and you're at 117.21. Now, the same as situations there. It's like, okay, man, big deal. You know, you rejected it, but you don't have any gusto behind it, okay? So... Um, we'll, see, we'll see where it's going to shake out, man. Some of the higher volume equities, and it's going to be a low volume day out here today. Actually, let me go into the composite for a second. I want to look at this composite. Because what did happen is yesterday, we were talking about the volume, right? And the volume was lighter yesterday. Yeah, see, it's going to be lighter today, too. This is actually pretty good. Because you, you, got, you got below the low of yesterday. Low of yesterday was 5, no, 353. We hit the 352 today. Some of the higher volume equities out here in this low volume day, we got, come on, where are you? Whoops, there we go. You got Apple uh, up 17 cents, Zoom's down 15 bucks. Well, that's just amazing. Tesla's up uh, $23. You got uh, Pindo is up 265. Let's see. What else is moving out here? Microchip technology is up a buck and a half. Stay right there, folks. We're coming back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading now down 125. NASDAQ is up 34. S&P is uh, down three and a half. We'll come right back. Booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now. Bingo. Where are There we are. Dow is uh, down 96. NASDAQ is up 43. S&Ps are turning flat. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. And, of course, he has this great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You'll see the opening call right on the left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. You can get it for one year for $1,195, for $1 which is a savings of $593, or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So come on over, check it out. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for some reason, bottom line, just you can get your money back 29th day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? I'm good. I'm just looking out the window. I'm seeing some clouds. I hope it doesn't rain in the next two hours because I want to be out there playing tennis. I like Other it. Than that, I like it. What can I say? That's right. Right. So what is it? Is it in the 80s, 90s? Where, where are we at? It's, it's quite warm, yeah. Okay. It's pretty okay. Warm. Actually, it's quite humid. That's the thing. Yeah. Your, fr yeah. your first cold spell is going to be coming in any day now, though. I can always, it's all, it happens up there, folks, it, it, and it feels so great when it comes in. But, I mean, we're getting there. It's the 22nd of August. It better be coming in. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> so, so talk about coming in. We've got the Dow coming in uh, so from the high that was made uh, in the middle of August at uh, 34,281. When I look at the speed of the pullback, the suddenness, uh, we've been talking about that for at least two weeks. We've been saying just be careful. There could be a, quite a sharp pullback. And the daily chart, what is really impressive is that the weekly chart has had a buy signal instituted. It's not yet a buy mode, which means that you should go to at least four higher peaks, but we're at a potential peak B here. And, and the technicals are still very strong, uh, even on this pullback. So I'm looking at the shorter term, and one of the reasons why we've stayed in our core long position in the diamonds, where we did add a couple of days ago, we did add the short side of it, and that will be for new subscribers. That will be a new position. But for all the subscribers, they know that this is really a, a, a trade. We're just trying to ameliorate the uh, any pullback in our long positions. Uh, it's slightly more weighted to the short side, uh, but that's the way we're looking at it. And one of the things that's important is 
you were talking about the dollar just a moment ago. Yes. What's always fascinating to me is how does the market know? You know we, we've looked at markets now for oh, for decades, and, and it's just incredible how, especially over the last year and a half to the last, especially the last six to eight months, how many times we get almost an exact double top I potential know. two pennies from the previous high. So the dollar, which we still long from 2018, actually, um, that's the year 2018, uh, at 90 level, is that a at 108.61. It hit 109.29 on the 19th of July, pulled back pretty sharply, not, I mean, sharply just in this chart pattern formation to 104.64 on the 10th of August, and then ran up very quickly. And today, what did it do? It went to within two ticks of that high of the 19th of July. But what I am looking at, the MACD is good. <clears throat> The nine period strongly over the 14 period moving average. The stochastic is fabulous at 94%. The relative strength is pretty good in the daily chart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me just have something to drink here. And the, and the weekly chart. Oh, that tasted good. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that lubrication. And the weekly chart has made this U shaped pattern that we're always looking at. And the monthly chart only needs to go three ticks higher than today's high. It needs to go to 109.30 okay. to ex extend the monthly leg C. So that, I mean, that's just a perfect use of the Chapman wave in terms of looking at um, the material that we have with cup formations. That's what I always spend a lot of time on my webinars, talk a lot about the cup formations or the arch formations, the timing from the left side to the right side. How our objective is always to get to at least a peak D, how we can use an alternate count to, to at least be prepared for some kind of a pullback. So this is an important moment just in price for the dollar, but really the strength uh, on the technical side that it says even if it pulls back, it, sh it should at least try to bump into the, the 109s again. So that's, I just wanted to say, you know, in my work with the left side, right side price time match, looking at the matching price, it's a little lopsided in price because the cup bottom is more to the right, so it's kind of a lopsided cup, but it has all, all the same potential, plus the Chapman wave inside wedge target resistance line right here, said that today should be the test of 109.29, and it was. So those things are working. So it's very interesting. We took a lot of money off the table in the, in the last week or two because we were looking at some kind of at least shorter term topping uh, formation. So now we're out of our SOXL, that's three times long the uh, semiconductors. We're hoping actually to get back in on this pullback and maybe keep a core position of just the SMHs and then treat anything more than that as a trading position. So we built up some cash. We've taken a little bit off the, our three times long the QQQ, still long, but we took a, a, a bunch off with very, very good profits. But what's, in, what's really fascinating to me is that if you're, if you're fortunate enough to have picked an area that is still in favor, then that the residual strength, as we can see, for instance, CF Industries, I spoke to you about this a little while ago, about this pattern, the stalk leg formation, the Chapman wave in the daily chart. This is a company, Hydrogen, Nitrogen Products, Clean Energy, Fertilizer, Emissions Abatement, kind of everything that is being spoken about now. So we're long from the 75s. It had 110.95 today. But the same pattern that I'm looking at, this cup formation, said that the left side high of 113.49 on April the 13th, plummeting down to the 79.18 area on the 14th, and then it turned up and we, we went long, long soon after that. Uh, actually, no, uh, we were long, sorry, we were, we were long at 95. So 95, and now it's trading at 109.15. This particular pattern with the oval pattern says if it breaks to the upside, if it extends more than a one-to-one -one from the oval pattern of what I call the body, then there's a chance that it's actually taken on a one-to-one -one formation that can go quite a bit higher. Well, the target is the 113 area. Today, it's almost hit 111, so it's getting very close. But look at this nice, look at the, the pattern in the cup formation, the symmetry, how you can yes. see you see this large arch, how it used the 200 period. I've had webinars on the 200 period moving average. Look how many times it hit it, never really broke it by much, always closed above it, and then boom, it took off. 
So these are patterns that we look at all the time. And most importantly, um, it seems to be in an area that's, that's actually working right now and has continued in the last few days when the general markets have been weak. And you've got the cup formation in the uh, weekly chart. And if it breaks to above 113.59, uh, that will be a leg D in the uh, monthly chart. And that'll be very positive. So we've got a few of those. We had another one as well uh, in, in this particular area. And that was uh, uh, NFE, which is in the natural gas area. And that's also gone to a peak D and made a beautiful cup formation, you can see. So that's what we're trying to do, use, use patterns to trade and keep keep uh, keep cash ready for big pullbacks. Jump over to the website, folks. Check out the opening call. Baz, have a great one. Safe one. Look for a show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. If you, you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 109. You get the NASDAQ up 27. S&P's off 3.5. So let's, we're going to continue on what Basil was saying a bit, a bit because it's applicable to where I think the doll is going. And... So if we look at Mosaic first, right? Now, this gets really intriguing because, you know, we're talking about the aspect, okay, you know, are you a bull or are you a bear? I'm talking about a short-term day or two basis here, folks. Um, you can see Mosaic. Okay, now this is a beauty, man. This is an ABC up. You can see, this is a classic too, a time of the trade classic. You can see you rejected the lower price yesterday, expansion of volume, 4 million shares. You're going into 2.7. So what you have here is you have an ABC up, 55, 55. It's a big one, too. Yeah, it's a 12 bucks A to B. So that's saying that 52, 62, 64 bucks is game. Is that up there? There's, that's game. 64 bucks, man. Now, okay, so let's go to the next one. And, and if this is the case, that's telling me, and this is kind of how you want to put these together sometimes. You get Intrepid. You can see Intrepid Potash Business, bottom line, started yesterday. Look at, the, look at how subtle this is. Started yesterday, 
311, 10,000 current shares. Boom, same type of setup. 46, the low is 35, you get nine bucks. Nine bucks gets you 51, 50. Where's 50? 50's up here somewhere. My point more than anything here is that if these guys are doing ABC structures up, now you can make the point that, okay, you got droughts everywhere, they need uh, potash for food. But what does happen inside the commodity business is that the dollar basically runs the commodity business. So it's going to be, it's, yeah, it's still a toss-up. That's the bottom line. We'll see where this shakes out. If we look at the NQs, you know, they're up, they're up 10 bucks right now. Now, what just had, did happen in the last 10-minute bar, you know, it doesn't have volume in. Yeah, let me bring this over here. So, and this is where it's going to get so intriguing coming into the close. So you can see, and it's always nice when you, you got a couple channels that are laid out here. The, because the way this is set up right now, as you can see, the last time, uh, well, not the last time we were up, but at 1.30 this afternoon, you know, you had 8,100 contracts there. Then we came down with 8,300. You went back up with 57. You came down with 56. You went up with 68, and we just came down with 61. Now we're on this one right now, and we get uh, you got eight minutes left on this, on this bar right here. But, so they're gonna they're gonna bring this right to the end. Uh, that's how I suspect this is gonna go. Let's go take a look at uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness. Point wise, out here, you have the uh, oil stocks. You get well, no, actually Caterpillar. Caterpillar's first, putting 36 positive points. Chevron, 31. Dow, eight. Boeing, seven. Taken away from it, United Health, 50 minus 50. Home Depot minus 33. Goldman minus 21. Let's go to Home Depot for a second. Let me see what this thing is doing, man. So, okay, so you came up. You're pulling back with light volume. Put this on a weekly for a second. Okay, so, you know, this is not bad. You know, that big spike there, that was so... The spike that we had last week, right, that would be the beginning of taking this supply line out again. That's how this is shaking out, man. It'll be interesting to see how this shakes out because it's a big supply line. The supply line at Home Depot goes back to 2021, you know, so there's no doubt that uh, that's going to take quite a bit to get through. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here today. You got, uh, what's that, Palo Alto? Well, that's, they, find, they got a nice bid that's up 12%. Pindo Adu is up 55 You got CrowdStrike up 3.7. JD.com's up 3. Taken away from it, zooms the number. Down 15.5%. DocuSign uh, off 3.5%. Uh, Vertex Pharmaceutical off 2.5%. And Workday off 2%. Now, let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs out here. We take a look at Amazon first. Amazon right now, and Amazon, it's going to be intriguing. So Amazon and United Health are in a little battle here to take over a, a software, a health company software company. And, you know, it, it's intriguing because the, the company itself, you know, you get Amazon that basically has a market cap of insanity, uh, as does, well, just look revenue-wise. Revenue-wise, this other company they're trying to take over has a revenue of $1 billion. Um, Amazon takes in uh, 523 billion, and United Health takes in 322, uh, and they are fighting over this company in a large way. And I suspect, you know, it, it has everything to do with um, basically on-demand health you know I mean the, the way Am what Amazon is doing folks okay uh, Amazon is going to basically trying to get in the not well they're in the health business all right but they what they're basically going to try to do is have a subscription type of business that you know you pay so many dollars per month bottom line call up as many times as you want as many appointments you want all of the above like you, you can imagine where this is going to go so it's going to get pretty interesting watching 
uh, exactly where that is going to go. We got to take a look at the GDX. We had the gold equities move out here, um, of course, because gold was up seventeen dollars. Um, GDX finally caught a bid, man. You know, bottom line, this is saying that you know you broke that little. Well, it's been on a monster downtrend, but the downtrend you broke is saying GDX now can go to twenty-seven fifty-seven. The that's the GDX. If we go into the, yeah, we want to look at the XAU and the HUI because what we're looking for now in the XAU and the GDX is that we want to see what the volume was yesterday because I believe that the volume is going to have contracted since the day before. It did. Beautiful. So <coughs> on, on Monday, what we had, no, on Friday, you came down hard. We did 33 million shares. Yesterday, you rejected lower price with 22. That's how you want to see it, man. And that when we were coming in, you were still coming into 35. That's uh, the HUI. We go to the Goldbugs index. It's going to be the same type of setup. Okay, so Goldbugs. Friday we did 25. Yesterday you did 16. That's what you're looking for, man. And what we'll, what we'll see out here today is that you're going to see an expansion of volume out here today. So that's pretty cool. So that means you got down to the bottom, rejected lower price. You're finally coming off that bottom, and we'll see whether we can get any type of acceleration, you know, Wide price spread, accelerated volume. That's what we're looking for. When you come off a bottom, folks, that's what you're looking for. If you get the wide price ex, ex, price spread plus the accelerated volume, that's when you can get some traction going. Um, oh, natural gas, NG. Yeah, let's go look at. I'll do that as soon as we come back too. But let's pull this up because this has been, uh, no doubt, uh, quite a ride out here. So today, let's see what we did. So today you have a high of 10 10.02 .02 and a low of 9.50. So that's a $10,000 move. Natural gas is, that's wild, man. Look at this. So let's go see. Okay, we take a look at this. It's a lot of volume, man. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Come right back, folks. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 97. You get the NASDAQ up 24. S&Ps are up 2. And uh, bottom line is that this is going to be really intriguing watching uh, how we shake out here, man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it really is. So let's get into the bond market for a second because we take a look at these bonds. We know that we have the, you know, the Jackson Hole. That's going to get you know, more action each and every day here, meaning what's coming out of it. Uh, you get this afternoon, two of the Fed governors uh, out there basically yapping, saying, hey, man, I think we could have went up a full point. Um, you're you're going to get these types of things that are coming out of it, that's for sure. So we take a look at bonds. You're, you've got 1.7 million contracts right now. So there it is. Okay. So you're coming into the strength. Now, the strength had 1.8 million. So that's pretty close, man. That's, uh, that's not great because you get an expansion here. You get an expansion. You can see that 1.7 into 1.8, but it's 1.73. And I don't think another 15 minutes, you know, they're going to put what. But that's, that's a lot of volume going in there. So the real question is because if you crack, if we crack the 117.14, man, bottom line, you're going to go right back down to these lows. And that means those lows that they, they start to talk about interest rates, 10-year, but the 3.4 again. And if the 3.4 flies, if that's where we go, that is saying that that dollar is going to be a problem. You know, if we go over to the dollar and we take a look at the dollar, you're going to see um, not only that bottom line came within two ticks of the high, but you can see that we we're already off the low, 107, 108. 07. So you're 50 ticks off of that low, and that's like, you know what, man? So now, here we go, folks. Okay, I made up my mind. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's going to be an ABC down. The closer we get here, that's this is setting up because what you have here is try to get higher. I'm, I'm at the Qs right now, okay? So they try to get higher. So yesterday we come down, try to get higher. You only have. 34 million shares traded. You go, you came down on 51. This is, this is, and, and particularly the Qs. See, the Qs are in like almost no man's land. I mean, there's some support here at the 312, but that's telling me that next stop is right down here, man, which is the 298 to 305. That's how it's looking. And if that's what it is, that, you know, that is in itself, uh, bottom line, going to be a 50% retracement, you know, of the move. Now, what it's also saying to me is this, is that because we came down to the first level, right? So we came down to the first level, and you do have light volume as we came down to that level. So it's real possible that you're going to get, you got to remember something, ABC structures down or up, right? Or what? They're straight line moves. So if, in fact, this thing gets smoked right down into Friday, I suspect it will probably run out of gas. And that'll be about as deviant as you can get because if it's Friday, the following week, I believe, is going to be us coming into 
Labor Day. Um, and that's the way this seems to be setting up right now. Um, so we'll, we'll see how this baby's going to shake out. And that's also telling me, by the way, that this doll is going to go to the highs. And I'm not quite sure, you know, how these, even all the gold equities moved. They, they move nice, but let's take a look at a few of them because they still need more juice, man. That's the bottom line. No, that's not bad. No, Anglo Ashanti is good. Okay, this is this is good. Uh, you know, didn't hold price as much. Anglo Ashanti went up to 1547, trading 1518, and you do have an expansion of volume. You know, we were going to a low yesterday with 2.4 million or 2.5 today. You're in the way up. Let's go take a look at uh, GOLD. We'll take a look at Barrick. Same setup. The difference is that Barrick didn't have an expansion of volume though. That's, that's the difference, not, not an expansion of volume. But you know, when we take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at the E-minis here. So, we put this out. Yeah, this one's lower into the close. Okay, so what you have here is this. You got... This bar, the last bar, now this is really subtle, man, but the last bar did expand. There it is right there. See that? So we did 23,000 contracts on the way down. At the top, you did 17. What's this one? That's 23. That's how tough it is, man. Unbelievable. Now this one here, we are seven. Yeah, you can see this. This is going south, man. Yeah, right now. So picture this. You, you have 21,000 contracts and you got three minutes left. Yeah. And so this low out here only has 23, 22,000 contracts. So it's going to be easy to get down into this. It doesn't mean it will break the, the low of the day, but it can certainly get down to this low here, which is the 4127. And then go to the NQs for a second. And that was fast. So the NQs. Yep, as an expansion too. Yeah, we're already there's, yeah there's eight minutes in it. We already got the expansion of volume. So the NQs are coming into ten thousand contracts. It's done seventy six hundred. Probably can do ten. That's going to try to get after that low there. And the, the you know, what, what tends to happen is that the the closer that we get to, you know, the four o'clock area the more pressure that it will have. Because you got to remember something. See, the different trading days are a little bit different, you know, and what you had out here today, we really just had a sideways day. And what didn't happen, in fact, no, it happened once, right? I think the, oh, that, that E-mini got over that, yeah, it got over, it, it, got, it opened actually over that 4144. So if we put this up, I put this back a little, and you can kind of see, it's been having a tough time basically getting out over this level right here. And that's, yeah, we got over it and just gave it up, man. That level there is, well, that's 41.52. So, so, bottom line, I suspect that you're gonna, we're gonna probably wake up, and for some high reason, this doll's gonna go after the highs again, Bottom line, market's going to probably more than likely do an ABC structure on the way down. And the cool thing about the ABC structure, of course, if that's what you get, is that we'd have to get volume higher than yesterday in order to break that point. You know, even though that today you're slightly below it, but as I said at the very beginning, it's, it's too close to call. That's the bottom line. Whether, you know, you're at a lower low, you get a contraction of volume, you know, you get the gist of it, but I've seen enough of these that this to me is actually that you try to get a little bit higher. You couldn't do it. You failed. The volume contracted way too much. That's saying this next leg down is there. And the next leg, that could be the most deviant thing the market does anyway. That's the real bottom line. So, you know, the, my saying, the market's job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time, and this is probably the way it's going to be done. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow down 149. NASDAQ is off three. S&P's down 10. We'll come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, down uh, 138. The Nasdaq's flat. S&Ps are off 8.5. Uh, well, we do look at Nugget, folks. A couple of the tigers out here. Now, Nugget is the 200% uh, bull position of the miners. And uh, bottom line, yeah, there's a lot. There's good volume here, man. Yep. Just like the GDX. So, somehow, some way, this is saying these goals want to start going higher. You know, the, the Nugget yesterday had a low of uh, with 2.9 million. You get 4.1 million on the way up today. You know, so I suspect what more than likely what we're going to see here is that this do dollar, I suspect, can get over it again, under it. The bottom line is that uh, I, what I can't picture is this, particularly folks in the aspect of um, this being, you know, Jackson Hole, all the central banks together. This dollar uh, is going to turn into a problem in a big way for Europe, you know, because if, if the dollar, so picture this, let's do this quick so we can get this before the close. If this dollar, I'm going to put this on a much longer time frame now, if we break this area, the euro is going to go to 78. <laughs> and that is about as intense as you can get because the next area. For the dollar, you know, actually, yeah, no, the exterior for the dollar is 121. Right now, we're, we're laying right where we were in uh, 2002. And if I reverse this and go to the euro, what you're going to see, and I remember this very well, the euro is at 78. Imagine getting a euro at 78 cents to the dollar. My God. <laughs> you know, but bottom line, there it is right down there. Oh, 82, 82 cents. 82 cents to the dollar. And you can see... 
Actually, you know, it's the same, it's the same setup because we're right there. We're right, what's happening with the euro is the euro is right where it started getting some strength going back to 2002 also. So bottom line is that, you know, when we're all dealing with, you know, basically the transfer of something for something. In this case, we're talking about fiat currencies for fiat currencies. Uh, they've lost a lot of wealth in Europe, man. That's the bottom line, you know, buying power. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.